the spring of 1994, Carl phoned me one day and said, I found a Halifax. I believe that uh, there's been so many good things happened to bring this all together that the, the chance opportunity of Carl meeting these gentlemen uh, who knew where the aircraft was, uh, the meeting with the people who are doing the salvaging, the help we've received from the government, the, the some 2,000 veterans in Canada who have donated money and become members of the Halifax Aircraft Association, and all the dramatic letters that we have received from all these people uh, who have not only talked about how great that wonderful aircraft was, but uh, how important it is that it be restored and, and uh, uh, maintained in the memory of, of their comrades who have passed away. And, and I'm part of this, and I feel, I, I don't know why I am, but I'm sure glad. It's uh, hard to realize that I was a 20-year-old kid, and here I am, an old man, and I'm playing a part in history, and uh, I think that's probably what it's all about. The telegram that everyone dreads that has anyone in the military. We will regret to inform you. As first responders, uh, they didn't get drafted to go to Canada. The American boys being felt under pressure to go to Canada, they just think this is the right thing to do. I mean, how do you take a guy like Harold Moore from Boone's Mill? Boone's Mill is a small little town outside of Roanoke. And how does Harold Moore end up flying for the Royal Canadian Air Force? I certainly wasn't as aware of the numbers, which I thought was pretty astounding, of the Americans who, who've, you know, who fought and died with the Royal Canadian Air Force. In 1939, the world watched in silence as a major international conflict took hold in Europe. As nation after nation fell at the feet of Nazi Germany and the Axis powers, England was left alone to fight for survival. It was 1940, and the Battle of Britain had just begun. Men and women from Canada and the Commonwealth headed to Europe to fight. The United States, still remembering the terrible loss of lives of World War I, decided this time to wait and see. For some in America, they felt there was a need to volunteer. Over 8,000 came to Canada in these early years before the attack on Pearl Harbor. They volunteered and joined the RCAF and soon found themselves being trained in Canada and then off to Europe to fight. Some of these brave men were from the state of Virginia. Why did he go to war? We were in the midst of the Great Depression. There were no jobs. So young men were flocking to the military because it was England, and he felt that we should all be there. He felt it was wrong of this country to stay out of it when England was being so beaten. And he and I imagine a lot of those other men all went for that reason, that England needed help. I think, um, especially before Pearl Harbor, I think they, were probably very well read, educated. A lot of, I knew some of them from the Richmond area came from pretty prominent families. And I'm sure that they saw in the newspaper um, Hitler coming to power and just the Nazi, the aggression going on. I'm sure that they really just wanted to get in there and help. It was a time of war and people needed to be trained for battle. One of these air bases was RCAF Vulcan in Alberta, Canada. Carl Kasgard invites J.R. Hafer and John Stemple of the U.S.-based 20th Century Aviation magazine to Vulcan as they walk the runway remembering the past. What sort of feelings do you have when you're running through these uh, hangars that have been here for over 70 years and they're still here? What do you feel about that? Well, I was just getting ready to say that just sitting here or standing here at the end of the runway and if you're real, real quiet, I think that you can hear the, the history of this place. You can, it's just, it's really emotional. 
and the this place is inhabited by the souls of the Americans and the Canadians that trained here and it it's just amazing how it, you can be overwhelmed this isn't just a geographic location this is a place where spirits dwell